In this next section, I'm gonna show you different full court inbounds plays they will use. Here's a play we might use in a Hail Mary type of situation, maybe down three with three seconds to go. We need to go the length of the floor for a three. Our four man would in the bound the ball, our one man would be here on the free throw line. As he gets the play started, the two and the three are coming back about three or four hard steps this direction, and then they're going to take off and try and beat their defenders down the floor there. As that's happening, the five man's going to step up hard, and we're trying to get a catch from the four to the five there. As the five man gets the ball, it needs to do a good job of quickly reading if one of these guys are open and try and get them the ball there for a three-point attempt. This would be a good one if you have five seconds maybe left on the clock, end of the half situation, or maybe an end of the game situation where you're down one or two with approximately five seconds left on the clock. You want your best ball handler, your fastest guy here, inbounding the ball. As he gets the play started, the two's gonna sprint hard here. We're trying to get a catch between the one and the two there. The three is sprinting here, the four is clearing out here, and the five is sprinting down to short corner. As soon as the one inbounds here to the two, he's taken off on a dead sprint, and we're trying to get the ball to him here so that he can catch it on the run and make a play. I always really think this is a good one if there's two or three seconds on the clock and you need to go the length of the floor. Five man inbounds here. The three is gonna start this by stepping in and screening the two. The four man needs to do a good job of being a little bit patient here and let this action get started before he steps in and screens for the one. So our first look here is the two coming off there. If that's open, the five man's trying to throw the ball all the way down to the two so he can make a play. If that doesn't happen, the two continues to the corner there, three will space to the corner there. As soon as this screen starts to get set, now the four man is gonna come in and screen for the one. What we want the one to do is to come off this screen and try and get a, a head of steam going to the direction of the basket. The five man needs to do a good job of leading him there so now we can catch this ball with our one on the run to make a play either at the basket, maybe a kick to the two there, maybe a skip pass to the three there. I'm not sure where I got this one, but this is one I love. This is a great one, especially if your five man is a great passer. If his five man's not a great passer, you're probably not running it. Uh, four man inbounds the ball, five man sprinting hard into this area here, four is going to enter the ball into the five there. As that's happening, the three is stepping in, trying to screen the two man, and at the same time, the one is trying to head hunt and find the two man's defender as well. So the five gets the catch, the two man is, not, is now peeling off these screens here into this area. It needs to go from the four, the four needs to get a catch, and immediately hit the guy here, the two man coming off for a shot there. Here's another one that I think is great. Two or three seconds on the clock, down three points, end of the game situation. You need to go the length of the floor to score. Three man inbounds, one, two, five, fours underneath the basket down here. Four man is gonna sprint this direction here. As that's happening, the two setting this first screen for the one, the five setting the second screen for the one. So the one is coming off hard here, this direction. As soon as the two set his screen, He's coming that direction. The four then breaks to the top. Three passes the ball to the four. The four is now looking and making a decision as to who's open here or here for a three-point attempt.